Last week I happened to be passing a local country park, so I thought I'd pop in to take a look. This is Parc Goledig Timaur, or in English, the Big House Country Park. A place normally buzzing with visitors, but at present closed because of the virus. The grey sky and drizzle, making play areas with no children, and picnic areas with no picnickers, seem even sadder. The small animals that usually fill this place have all gone to foster homes. And the colourful flower beds are turning to weeds. Further along, the animals too big to foster are cared for on site by visiting staff. We leave the animals and amble through a small wood down to the riverside walk. The towering viaduct leads us down to the banks of the Avon Dovedui. Here, hidden behind the trees, the rest of the viaduct spans the river and recedes into the distance. This same river, as it flows over the English border a few miles to the east, becomes the River Dee. Now in the distance, the viaduct proudly displays its full span, over a third of a mile long. Evergreens provide a welcome splash of colour to the cold wetness. The remnants of summer's glory produce a stark contrast against the autumn decay. A territorial robin confronts me and escorts me off his patch. And the coming spring seems anxious to begin. Only a week ago, I had been searching the hedgerows for sloes without finding a single one. Now, the blackthorns have dropped their leafy hides to reveal the fruit in abundance. The uphill walk to the end of the trail leads us alongside a paddock. But the strange creatures corralled within are not horses. Their names are Carlos and Pedro. They're llamas, and they're here to guard the sheep from foxes. As we approach the end of the walk, we pass some of the many memorial benches scattered throughout the park. And thankfully, I rest, courtesy of those who have passed this way before me. 
ולבעריכי.